All right, folks, welcome back to the garage. Today, we got a new project for you. Pretty much all my projects are kind of a one-person deal. You know, it's just me writing it, and that leaves my poor girlfriend, Kim, out of the fun. So today, we are gonna be motorizing a tandem bicycle. It's a two-seater bicycle, so we're gonna be putting an engine on there and uh, see how it goes. So here's what I'm thinking the setup is gonna be. We've got a good old-fashioned Predator engine with a torque converter, and then I'm gonna have a jack shaft back here, all set up just like so. Initially, what I'm gonna do is make it all on this quarter-inch piece of steel that I have laying under here, so that this is gonna be one unit, and then I can just weld it onto the bike once it's all complete. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to take out the pedals and all the chain for it, and this is just gonna be strictly an engine-powered bike. I don't like taking off the pedals because it kind of takes away from the whole bicycling experience, but in this particular case we're gonna have to do it because there's that chain right here in the middle and then I'm also gonna have a jack shaft going on the other side of the wheel and that's where all the cogs are so I'm gonna have to take all that off and replace it with an engine calculations were slightly off. Uh, the engine fits on there, but the spark plug is hitting up against the frame just ever so slightly, and it's just too tight. I'm gonna probably cut this support bar and just flip it upside down and then weld it back on there. So what I'm going to skip to now is actually putting on a rear sprocket that's compatible with our jack shaft. I actually got this hub mount. This is from a previous project. It clamps on the hub of the wheel and then you're able to bolt the sprocket on there. Unfortunately, the hub of this tire is a little bit too thin for this mount, so I had to make some shims out of an old hole saw and that should eat up the rest of that space. Thanks for your help.
Yeah, hey, Kim. Huh? I need your help in the garage. <laughs> What are we doing? Sure. Do I have to do it again? No, that's good. <laughs> All right, so we got quite a bit done here. As you can see, the engine is on there. Kimberly added that chain guard there. And then we also put a rear chain on the back. Next, what I have to do is make some foot pedals for both the driver and the rear passenger, and then also a chain tensioner for the back chain. So here it is, all complete. If you come over here, you see I added a few features. We got a little chain guard, just so uh, we don't chew up our legs. On the other side, I wrapped up the exhaust, and then I also put a what is this called? cover on our CBT unit. Guys, I think it's ready to go. So I did ride it on my own, and it worked pretty good. We'll see if the bike can uh, handle both of us. You calling me fat? There you go. <laughs> so I built this bike to be more of a cruiser, you know, just a relaxing ride. So it goes probably be about 20, maybe 25 tops. And then it'll give us enough torque to uh, carry both of us. Right. 